Hello people, welcome back to my channel once again. I'm Georgina. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing and clicking on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my delicious recipes. Have you ever dream of making your homemade croissant? We are going to make croissants from scratch with our own hands. Let's go to the ingredients and let's get started. For the croissant dough, you're going to need 500 grams of bread flour, 60 grams of sugar, 10 grams of dry active yeast, 2 teaspoons of salt, 1 beaten egg, 80 grams of warm water, 150 grams of warm milk, and 90 grams of softened butter. Let's first start by mixing the dry ingredients. So I'm adding in first the sugar, salt, and the dry active yeast. Mix it. Now add in your beaten egg, the water, and the warm milk. Mix it till it forms a dough. Now turn it on your working surface and add in the butter. Just sprinkle a little bit of flour. Add it into two and add half at a time. So knead it. The dough should be soft but not sticky and don't overwork it just until everything comes together because we are not making a stretchy dough or an elastic dough. Then you put it in a, a bowl and cover it with a clean film and put it in a warm place to double in size. Now let's go to the next step of the preparation. You're going to need 230 grams of butter and a parchment paper. So put the butter on the parchment paper and fold the parchment paper. Now use your rolling pin to press it. The butter is a bit cold, so it will take time to roll it. To make it more faster, just use your rolling pin to press on it. Then roll it again. Now that the butter is soft, flatten the butter around 18 by 18 centimeters. Fold it and set it aside, or you can put it in the fridge for the meantime. The dough has doubled in size. Deflate it. That's the working surface and the dough with some flour. Roll it into a rectangular shape. Fold it, cover it with a clean film, and put it in the fridge overnight. The dough has rested overnight. Sprinkle a bit of flour on your working surface. Sprinkle a bit of flour on top of the dough and roll it in a square shape. I'm going to put the butter in the middle of the dough and then fold the dough on top of the butter. So the butter should be in the middle of the dough. So fold it like this. So you fold it, make sure you fold it tightly. And now roll it into a rectangular shape, starting from the middle. 
make sure it starts rolling it gentle because you do not want the butter to come out from the dough and now fold it like so and refrigerate it for another 30 minutes wrap it with a clean film and put it in the fridge for another 30 minutes it's been 30 minutes now let's unwrap the dough and roll it into a square shape again sprinkle a bit of flour on your working surface Roll it again. This time around, I'm going to fold it two times. So first, you're going to roll it into a um, rectangular shape, then fold it, then roll it again and fold it. Always start from the middle. Remember, you always have to start from the middle to the edge. Fold it. like so and roll it again to fold this into three parts and then put it in the fridge for another one hour I'm going to fold this and put it in the fridge again for another one hour this time around I'm going to fold it into four parts make sure you sweep off any excess flour and then fold it again wrap it with a clean film and put it in the fridge wrap it with a clean film and put it in the fridge for another one hour it's been one hour and we are ready to form our croissant sprinkle a bit of flour on your working surface and roll it into a rectangular shape again now let's trim off the egg and now let's cut a triangle shape You can use a ruler to measure it and cut it into um, the sizes that you want or you can just eyeball it as I'm doing and then cut it into a, a rectangular shape. Take one of the croissant dough and roll it tightly. And then when you get to the tip of the dough, um, stretch it like this to help you close it. You can make a notch at the tip of the croissant. It helps to roll it easy, just like this. And then when you get to the tip, just uh, pull it like this, then you close it. After you are done, put it in a warm place to double in size, then we bake it. The dough has doubled in size, brush on top with an egg wash.
Now into a preheated oven 175 degrees Celsius from 15 to 20 minutes. It's 15 minutes and the croissants are ready. Wow. The croissant took 15 minutes to bake, from 15 to 20 minutes to bake. And then um, it has cooled. And take a close look at it. See how it's crispy? And Wow. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my glacial recipes. Thanks for watching once again. Bye-bye.